Welcome. My name is Ed, and I am an antiquarian. Let me explain. Antiquarians are obsessed with antiquities. They want to search for them. They want to study them. They want to possess them. Now, from about the 18th century on, through the 20th century at least, traditional historians have generally disparaged antiquarians. Nevertheless, in 1717, the Society of Anti Antiquaries was founded under charter, a royal charter, and 300 years later, it's still in business. I have visited their headquarters. They have a magnificent library of books uh, about the antiquities of Great Britain, of Europe, and the ancient Mediterranean. It is a wonderful, wonderful research library. Now, academic historians uh, use their formidable research skills in the study of primarily written documents. That is, the historians, essayists, playwrights, geographers, philosophers of antiquity, uh, whatever hints about the events and people of antiquity, uh, that is the grist for their work. And out of such documents, they sniff out important stories or they answer important historical questions. In other words, they're getting the who, what, when, where, and why of history. And then they go on to publish invaluable narratives about the social and political elite of antiquity, the movers and shakers of, among the Greeks and Romans. Uh, primarily, they're political and military achievements. So we have here a, a marvelous biography of Alexander the Great and a narrative of the Punic Wars, that is the wars fought between Rome and Carthage for control of the Western Mediterranean. Now this is, this is the stuff of traditional history. Antiquarians, on the other hand, uh, have a more modest mandate. Uh, we take a broader cultural approach to history, uh, take a particular time and place and, and study the, the daily life of the people who live there and uh, the, the, the items they produce, the ideas that they produced. So that relying on archaeology, for instance, uh, antiquarians might collect coins, or they might collect vases or other artifacts from the period. And, and of course, visit the ruins of antiquity, uh, which many of you have done so. In addition to which, they'll be studying Greek art, Roman literature. Uh, now in the 21st century, a younger group of historians uh, with a more uh, antiquarian bent to their studies are studying um, so the sexuality of the ancient world and gender studies and eth ethnicities of the ancient world of the Mediterranean uh, and, and the environment uh, as it changed over time. 
These are all new areas of study for a new generation of young historians. So to sum up, academic historians are generally concerned with great events or changes in society as witnessed here by the Alexander mosaic that comes from uh, Pompeii showing Alexander ab about to defeat Darius at the Battle of Isis. While antiquarians are concerned with more quiet aspects of daily life among the Greeks or Romans or other peoples of the ancient Mediterranean. And as for me, I'm particularly interested in bringing to you little snippets about the beauty and wisdom of antiquity. So thanks for watching. Uh, please come back uh, to this channel and subscribe if you will and see some more snippets about ancient history.